Welcome back. New tonight, a teenager in remission from leukemia received another devastating diagnosis that sent him away from home. On top of that, he says he was told he may not be able to get back. NBC 5's Devin Gooden joins us live in studio with more tonight. Devin? Kristen, Zachary Parham has spent his past two birthdays in the hospital battling leukemia. His health took another hit when he got a serious infection, an illness that had Zachary thinking he might not return home anytime soon. Zachary Parham was 15 years old when he was diagnosed with one of the most aggressive forms of leukemia. Amazingly, within the first month of chemotherapy, he was in remission. But earlier this year, things took a turn. I think it was because my liver was so bad and they kind of just saw that all these different things were happening and were like, okay, these are symptoms of E. coli. We need to pick a place to send him because obviously they weren't prepared for it here. We knew that Zachary was at risk for, for getting the E. coli bacteria and, and affecting his, his body. The first week was, he was very, very, very sick. Um, it, was, it was really, really difficult to see him go through that, especially after the leukemia diagnosis. Zachary was transferred to Stanford Healthcare in Palo Alto in March after doctors at Rogue Regional Medical Center realized there was something attacking his organs. Over a month and a half, Zachary slowly improved. His family hoped to bring him back to the Rogue Valley to continue physical therapy, but they say their insurance company wouldn't cover the cost to bring him home. Our insurance wanted us to take a commercial flight, um, but we were like, we can't really take a commercial flight because the doctors don't want me to because of all the risks involved. Like, I could get sick. What if I have to go to the bathroom? How am I gonna get moved around if I need to? Zachary's mom, Dana, exhausted all efforts to get insurance to pay for a medical flight home. She says at every turn, the answer was still no. He's a child. And for someone like Zachary, who has already been through so much in his young, you know, adult life, um, and I think it was really fair of them to keep keep him down there. But that's when Dana got an idea. I decided that I wanted to reach out to um, Senator Jeff Merkley's office to see if there was anything that they could do to help us. Uh, when these things happen, uh, folks should call us uh, and we, we work uh, uh, so hard to, to try to get fair and appropriate treatment. We don't always succeed, but it can in fact make an enormous difference for a Senator's office to weigh in. In this case, it did, and Zachary got the medical flight he needed. Dana hasn't been able to thank the senator yet, but she knows exactly what she would say if she could. I would say that his, his staff is absolutely top-notch. They went above and beyond for our family, and we're super grateful. So thank you, Senator. <laughs> Zachary is hoping to head back to normal life soon so he can be back home with his two cats, Dobby and Hermione. If you want to donate to Zachary's fundraising campaign, you can go to kobi5.com to find out how. Live in studio, Devin Gooden, NBC5 News.